Greetings, my fellow Freedom Low Sovereign Thinkers. Thank you for tuning in to LOP Podcast. My name is Craig, transmitting from the wild, wonderful Mountain State, and today's date is Saturday, August 28th, 2021. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when you got dogs and puppies want to chew on stuff, right? Yeah. Gotta do a little fixing. Well, I'm a stage hand. I could fix it. Th- I could fix things too. So <laughs> it's all well and good. I don't want him doing that. So um, I love him. Don't get me wrong. But um, yeah, it looks like the, the mass protest is um, continuing in what's that place called? London, England. Okay, on the whole COVID lockdown propaganda machine, the Delta variant, whatever you want to call it. Plus, um. It looks like uh, the claim that U- U.S. Uh, forces fought back against ISIS K in Kabul. Hmm. And I know there was a big. Uh, they had a one. It looks like a, a, a typhoon went through Southeast China and destroyed the dam, and a lot of people. Um, a lot of damage was done, and it looks like they claim that a good small amount of people have passed, but maybe more. We don't know. There's always an accuracy. And, you know, hope and pray for the best for the people down in that area. Because I'm not saying, you know, I'm not crazy about their government like everything, everyone, everywhere else. But the people are essential. So, um, put them in your thoughts and prayers. Ooh, yeah. And, um, well, more stuff's coming out of the way. People are sharing me some videos, which is cool. Haven't heard any, anything latest. What I talked about yesterday. But if I do, I'll keep you posted. If not, go to uh, freeflorida.me. You know, Chris Nelson, tell him, look, look, the third sent you. You got to show him some support. And, of course, you know, just, all the stuff is happening. All the world's a stage. Yes, it, yes, indeed. But hopefully everyone out there is still prepping. Have all your debts paid off. Have everything fully owned by you. Keep all everything minimal as possible if it comes to debt. Have zero debt or keep it small. Trust me. Um, and even if you have ch- ch- kids and children, they will appreciate it in the long run. And man, that's this world gone mad has climbed a few notches. But um, well, it's all well and good on my end. So um, I want to be actually addressing narrating from a column from a, from an article from zerohedge.com and it's by Tyler Druden it says here the end, this ends debate Israeli studies show natural immunity 13 times more effective than vaccines at stopping Delta as it reads here Dr. Fauci and the rest of President Biden's COVID advisors have been proven wrong about the science of COVID vaccines yet again after telling Americans that vaccines offer Better protection than natural infection. A new study of Israel suggests the opposite is true. Natural infection offers a much better shield against the Delta variant than vaccines. The study was described by Bloomberg as the largest real-world analysis comparing natural immunity. Gained from an earlier infection, the protection provided by one of the most potent vaccines currently in use. A few days ago, we noted how remarkable it was that the mainstream press was finally given voice to scientists to criticize President Biden's push to start doling out booster jabs, while the study further questions the credibility of relying on vaccines. Given that the study showed that the vaccine vaccinated were uh, were ultimately 13... um, 13 times as likely to be infected as those who were infected previously than 27 times more likely to be systematic. Alex um, Berenson, a scientist, a science journalist who has repeatedly questioned the efficacy oh, sorry about that, of vaccines and masks at preventing COVID touted the study as enough to end an idea and any debate over vaccine versus natural immunity. This is, this is what he, he tweeted here. Wow, new Israeli preprint shows natural immunity to SARS-CoV-2 is far superior to the artificial kind of vaccinated people 
and were 13 times as likely to be, infect, to be affected, infected and 27 times to have systematic infections as a match cohort was previously infected. And this is with Delta dominant. And there's members information on here as well. And of course, it says right here, Alex it says here, the paper also shows that offering previously infected people one dose likely reduced their infection risk, though through though not enough to outweigh side effects. I would argue, along with the other emerging data, this paper should end any debate over vaccine versus natural immunity. And here's the source right here, metarix.org, content 1.00110. So I might have to look at that too when I have a chance. Let me just check this out. Oh, I may do that later. So I definitely want to read that, and I encourage everyone else to do it too. Here's an expert from a report by Science Magazine. The new analysis relies on a database on the, of Maccabi Healthcare Services, which media about... 2.5 million Israelis. The study led by Tal Patalin and Sabin Gazit at KSM, the systems research and innovation arm found in two analysis that people who were vaccinated in January and February were 6 to 13 times more likely to get infected than unvaccinated people who were previously infected with the coronavirus in one Analysis comparing more than 32,000 people in the health system. The risk of developing systematic COVID-19 was 27 times higher among the vaccinated. And risk of hospitalization, 8 times higher. This time the data will leave, will leave little doubt that the natural infection... Was truly is better was a bet was a better option for protection against the Delta variant, despite the fact that the U.S. won't acknowledge the already infected as having antibodies protecting them from the virus. As the first country to achieve widespread coverage by the vaccine, Israel is now an unthinkable situation. An unthinkable situation. Daily case numbers have reached new record levels as the new Delta variant penetrates the vaccine's protections like the hot knife slicing through butter. And it gives you the readout here. Okay, and this is from Bloomberg, by the way. Mainstream news, mainstream website, okay? So this is, wow, this is amazing. At the very least, the results of the study are good news for patients who have already successfully battled covid but show the challenge of relying exclusively on immunizations move past the pandemic. The analysis demonstrated that natural immunity affords long-lasting and stronger protection against infection, systematic disease, and hospitalization due to the Delta variant, the researcher said. Unfortunately, the study also showed that any protection is time-limited. Protection offers by, offered by natural infection reigns over time, just like the protection afforded by, the, by vaccines. The risk of a vaccine breakthrough Delta cases was 13 times higher than the risk of developing a second infection when the original illness occurred during January or February 2021. That's significantly, significantly more than the risk for people who were ill earlier in the outbreak. What's more, giving a single shot of the vaccine to those who have been previously infected also appear to boost their protection. Still, the data don't tell us anything about the long-term benefits of booster doses. This latest data showing the vaccines don't offer anywhere near the 90% plus protection that was originally advertised by the FDA. The emergency authorization after the emergency authorization. Other studies are finding more are finding wait. Other studies are finding harmful side effects caused by the MN, mRNA jabs are also more prevalent than previously released. And you can there's a link, there's links for it on that as well. You can verify it. 
And of course, this was written by this one one pre uh, preprint is written by Doctor jo Joseph and Offley Jr. on Scribd. Folks, I recommend you folks go through the links, look at everything. And I'm man, to be very frank, I am not very surprised because I always believe that every infection has an Achilles heel, rather it was a mutate by nature or man. I always had that in me, all right, those belief systems, natural remedies. That's why I've been persistent on um, being vigilant, vigilant to my health. Even my colleagues, I always encourage that to make it, to make, make me your main objective. Not rely on the shots, begging, and hear all this guilt trip by any means. It doesn't work. Now it's been proven by Israel. Okay, Israeli studies that natural immunity is the key to fighting this infection. And I am say many of us out there that you want to go after, we've been vindicated, folks. We're not anti vaxxers. Okay. I believe in free choice. But we want to know all the facts, all the information on the on these particular serums. I'm still convinced these, vac these particular products, a la Moderna, Pfizer, Johnson, are gene therapies from doctors who are pro-vaccines themselves. All you got to do is a little looking. And um, you, then you understand in the long run, long, long term. So um, that's all I have to say. What's your intake on this, folks? And that will be it. I want to thank everyone for listening. Plus, feel free to download and share us throughout your social media networks. If you want to, if you have any questions, comments, or anything on this Instagram, check out whatever you do. Please send your correspondence to the quorum. For the more, the footnote of this article on my speaker page. If you want to donate, you can go donate. Good grief. Go to paypal.me or cash.app forward slash look look number three. If you want to support Zero Hedge, that would be go great. Show them some love. If you want to contact me, you can go via email at lokiluck03 at protonmail.com. All right, folks. Once again, thank you for your time. Please always remember that the maniac resistance is healthy for the soul and can liberate humanity. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on spreading the love. And may your guardian spirits be with you.